show you the Dumal course of, of the Filipino martial arts. Basically, Dumal is it's the wrestling, locking, takedown portion. We're, in, in Filipino martial arts, we do it with the weaponry and we do it without the weapon. I may show you a little about it. All right, so the first one I want you to do is the same if you see a roof block, there's my entry from here. Okay? In reality, I'd be blitzing him and I'd be taking his face. But for training, that's what you go ahead and get. Now, look, I grab this wrist, hold it like you love it. Right here, everybody ever see that pressure point where people touch you here? Everybody ever see that? Well, it's really a pressure point there, but it's not a touch point, it's a hit point. So what I do is I hit it. This is the first one I want you to do. Alright? So, one. See, that's the knee to the grown area. There's the knee. See it? Okay. Dish happen, what I call, inside. The class don't have an idea. That's why this one's never working. Full cut that six for it. Because people try to do them out here. This is where this one's working. This is really this one. Am I fucking you call me? Sir. So it happens inside the class. One more time. One, two. One. There's the knee to the ground if I wanted. I wouldn't ever put this. Here we go. I know one of my instructors actually told the guy who introduced the Filipino martial arts to me. Back in like 1994, uh, he doesn't even believe that they exist at all. And then there's some people that put so much into it that they get so hokey pokey that they think they're going to knock you out with no touch and you know throw chi balls at you, right? <clears throat> the fact is, there are spots on the human body that this hurts a little more. You know how to tweak. That's that's just a fact. Okay? It's nothing hokey pokey about it. Okay? This one right here, people touch that thing all the time, man, and it, it's maybe sucks, but it's a hit. And I, I'm gonna let you feel this if y'all would. So watch what it does to his legs when I hit him. Yeah. You see how your legs just give? No. Did you give me Yeah. Okay? So, well, sticks make everything better. <laughs> Makes it hurt more. Okay? So when I crash that line, there's the heat to the ground, and that would be a stick. And that would be my follow-up shot. <laughs> but for training, we use the bomb. In reality, I'm gonna blast him with that clean you get what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, get it. Instead of a weaponry stick, especially a knife, and I see it all the time on YouTube, people try to use the weapon when it wasn't intended for. Like the big thing today is tac uh, tactical tomahawk. You see all the YouTube videos where these guys are locking people and you notice, why do I need to, why am I going to lock you about the tomahawk? That makes zero sense to me at all. That's like saying if I have a gun, I'm just going to throw it at you. Does that make sense? Okay. So whenever I do these takedowns, nothing beats using the weapon for what it is. So when you take the guy down, start hitting him. It's what it's for. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, a couple more times, we'll move on. Yes, All right, so oh, same concept. We're going to stick to the roof block entry. And we never really block the kids. I'm trying to blitz him on the way in, and that would you get it, you get it? Sir. So for training, let's just block. I hate using that term with the weapon, but see? You remember what I said? Everything happens inside the class, right? So this next one that I want you to do again, one, two, I just want you to put it right here, just walk. Okay? And then that would be the shot from here. Okay? It sucks. Watch. You just put it right here. You just most Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Alright, so you want to see put this shot from here, and I'm just walking up from that shot. If you hold on to the weapon, as he falls, guess what he's gonna do? Let go. Let go. He's break his fall. No, no, he's not gonna let go. Alright, you wanna try? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Good. We'll grab it and we're gonna fight. Okay, watch. My sticks here, but my feet are here. It's all leverage. Because I'm walking, I'm, I'm doing the next guy. You gotta understand, colleagues, a battle for arts. It's always a good multiple people. Or I'm talking about tradition, right? So it would be here, and then that would be. You need to do the next, right? Alright, go. Sir, sir. Okay, so I go in, and a lot of times when I crash this line, I don't even worry about getting rid of this thing, right? Because y'all got water, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to show you two variables here. The first one is if the arm's here. Now, when I break and I cancel out his height zone, this just goes over and I grab it. This becomes a choke right away. Now, if the arm is behind me like it is right now, I rip cord. What? So these are the two options. Okay? So one, you remember everything happens inside the clap. That would be the elbow. You see, I, I, I kept his height out. I just ripcord it. If he gets the arm free, I ripcord it here. 
Those are your two options. You follow me? Sir. Sure. Okay. I'm going to give it a go. So watch. Pretty simple. So one, two. You see, I like to push and pull. See, this punch is coming. Just handle it. See? There's the knee and you just start jumping. Follow me? Yeah. Sure. All right, here we got one. Yes, sir. Try to grab that stick and dump one. That's his goal. That's why I push with this. That breaks that attachment point. And then I just go right here. Does that make sense? So that's why I like to push first because he's smart. He's not dumb. Pasuk. Pasuk is entry. Then you have to secure the position. That's the rip cord that I tell you. You secure that. Before the takedown ever happens, I want him hurry before I ever try to take him down. In reality, if it was real, I'd just rip cord that thing. And you know, do, do the damage there, you know, get it, escape, right? Then do the takedown. Some of you guys are skipping it's all the way to the takedown, which is cool, right? Bruce Lee used to call that the initial move theory. He said that he said that if you put 110% into each technique, then you don't need more than one. It kind of makes sense. You, you know, like a lot of people set up with the jab, they score points, they score points, they boom. Huh. He says, not about the jab. Okay. That makes sense, right? So, yeah, so break each position down but then blend it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Sorry. 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 Come on down. No, so These suck it and they hurt, but they're awesome. All right, so I still do the entry. We'll stick to that entry from here. Boom. Now look, what I'm gonna do here, I like to club the back. I like to club the karate. That may be a knockout. All right. So I club it. See where I am right here? Okay, did I just switch? I do want to this chuck. I need to take it. So it? They call it the fang chuck. Put it in. Don't even worry about this. Go ahead, uh, grab, uh, grab it, grab it, it's, it's, it's a painful, painful chunk. All right? But a lot of times when I come in, see, I come in here, and see, I make, I make this one that first. And I have to take him right down. I mean, I'm going to do it. Try it. I'm going to see it again. So we'll do it, we'll do it slow. Hey, so, I, so I can get it. If you want to disarm it, do it. I don't even worry about this. I club the karate. That's probably not gonna. This is rip. And I just take a knee. As I choke, I take a right knee. Want to try? Sure. Right, yeah. Be careful. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Look, so I don't stay here. I'm just trying to figure out how you. I gotta put my kick. So that's the throw's already there. First throw, I have one and two. Some place in there. You got to Say so it's here. He wraps me to dunk me with the stick. And then once you rip this thing, you start choking. His hands will come up. He will just sit. Watch that. Because he doesn't want to let go of that weapon, so he's going to come up right into this. That's it. Does that make sense? All right, come on. When I do the roof block, I stay center. I'm inside the hornet's nest, so to speak. A lot of times, especially when we start dealing with the bladed weapon, I want to get to the outside of that lens. So what we'll do is we'll do number one, and I hit it. And I'll come right here, and we'll just enter it with this. Jeez. All right, we'll do that real slow. So watch. So I'm going to hit this. You see, that would be the banging. This would be into the eye, you see, or the throat. And look, I just put it right here. And I just back up to give it to him, take his ground away. Watch. You want this? All right, we'll do it slow. Watch. Now this would be, I'm trying to bang that. He may be gone. See it? And I just back up to take his ground. You want to give it a go? Sure. All right. All right, give yourself a hand. All right. Get it right here. Yeah. All right, this gets a little more technical, so but we're going to work this side now. Okay, so the entries are Brazilian, but let's go back to what we know. See, we're already here. Let's go ahead and disarm this. Now that cross comes. Couple concepts. Number one is just the windshield wiper. See it? So the punch comes in. I just windshield wiper and I hit. See it? Here's the first one. There's the first one. That's what I like to check. Right. So I don't care. The, the, the entries are, you can, you can handle them any way you want to do. So yes. right. In reality, I may just bust this. Boom! And then that shot comes with windshield wipers. This hits. Okay. 
See this bone, how it forms a fulcrum, lever? <coughs> but this is what you want. The beginners usually do this. You're going to lose it. There is a way to get it back, but I'll show you that in a second. See, so it's here. Punch me. Ow. <laughs> okay? So it, I didn't punch. I can even defend with it. See it? Now, you remember what I said earlier, but one got to go down with my energy? Yeah. Okay, two locks. Watch. Number one. Number two. Okay. Hit. Secure. Look, it's like I tightened the, uh, the noose, so to speak. All right? And I just drop it. Just tight. People will want to do this. Too. They will lose it. So I put it in tight. See? I do them subconsciously at this point, and I hate when I do it because I he feels it. One trick is when I slam him, I always want his face or head to hit my shin bone, and I'll position my shin bone. I'll position. I lost it that time because he's sweaty, but I'll position it here so when he hits it, hits my shin bone. And then look, come here. See, this is securing. Now I just tighten this up and ripcord this. It's, it's, and hit me with that stick. It's, <laughs> all right, that's all it is. This stays here. This is secures. All right. Now I wouldn't stay there long. I'd plot it, and then I'd rip, and then just go back to what the tools for. All right, come more times, sir. Okay, look. If I can wish you a wiper, that's the one I do. But sometimes they call this watch lick. It feels a bit more sharp. So I'll go, say it, and then I'm still there. Say it. So if I can't get the arm on this side, I got to handle it on this side. Right? See, that still hits. And then I just it. So that's the only thing I want you to change now. So the punch comes in. It's all this. You follow me? And that's, that hits. First, first one. Then he's going to pull that back because he's got, it's already, he does it for me. I'm going to give it a go. Sir, sir. See, I go, so I go here, boom, I'm here. The punch comes in, I still do the windshield wiper, I still do attachment for it. But then watch, I reach over and I grab my own arm and I just have a seat. Now watch. Tap. Tap. Grab me. See it? Because this, this is, you just have a seat. Rip cord and just secure that. You don't even need this arm, really. Yeah. I'll try. Sure. All right, give it a go. So I don't care how you handle this. Punch comes in. Okay, now. Two things. I pull and I try to get my bit of my arm in his armpit as I hit him with the elbow. See, I pulled him into that. Then there's chill. Okay. Then there's the kid. That's good. There's the Follow me? We'll do the super fun. So. I hit the whip. <laughs> it comes in. Watch. I pull an elbow. There's the elbow. This is hard to see. <laughs> right? There, now, if you look at the position, same position. <laughs> see your arm? This? Same exact position. Does that make sense? There. there. So the clutch comes in. Hit. Pull, popping, secure. I like to throw the knee, the face thing. Grab the back, spin it. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, I hate to say my system, my but the, the, a lot of things that I teach are really unique. Okay? As far as other Filipino systems go. And one of the things I teach is that I don't choke to choke, or I don't lock. This is a stick. I don't need to lock you. If I have a knife, that's why I hate the whole tomahawk craze right now. People doing the locking people. Why am I going to lock you with a tomahawk? That makes zero sense to me. You get what I'm saying? Sorry. So the only time I'll use this stuff, we call it pain-induced pathways. I use it to get a reaction so that I can kick you. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? So I'm going to choke you till you pull away, and I'm going to put because you need it. Keep that in mind. Oh, right? this is a response. That, that's it. Pain-induced pathways. Mm -hmm. All right, come on up. A couple more times, I'm going to show you one leg attack, and we'll call it. Right. I still do, I don't care the entry you do. Sometimes I just let this in here. And see, I like to hit the ground. See how that, <laughs> see how he just pins back? 
<laughs> See, I go right here, I lift it, and I just want to right down the watch. I'm just going to kneel on the button. Uh, Hit him with the stick. Hit me with the stick. Show the first. You gotta really feel it to push it. Now I would be hitting still. That's not a I'm not gonna keep you there. I would slam right there and just put it in the stick. Right? So no gosh for me. <laughs> so when I lift, I, I lift like this. And I, I, I put it in between my thigh and then I just twist my legs. Ouch. Does that make sense? Sir. Sir. All right, last one. Quick, again, you gotta feel it to appreciate it, right? So it goes in here. I just lift these, I go straight down. Squeeze. It sucks. I'm gonna show you both right now. The second one, I want you to be very, very careful. All right, watch. So it goes here. We'll finish with that. All right, so you just look up and then walk over. Be very careful with the half balls of crap. Go.